Hello friends, this is Rupesh and I'm watching CVP Nerd video series on STL and this video is about STD pair. So if you're looking for a programming channel where you can learn data structure, algorithms, design patterns, threading and whatnot, then so do consider subscribing this channel because I upload these videos almost daily. So let's move to this topic. So the STD pair, have you ever thought of, dude, I want two values to be combined together. Oh, it's looking like my symbol, right? Okay, let me just draw this. Oh yeah. Okay, enough. So the question is, do you ever feel that, okay, uh, man, I have two values. Uh, they can be just simple name and the age. So it's like only one object containing name and age both. Then this is the answer for your problem. Actually, this is how the syntax look like. You have this pair data type, T1 and T2 are different, different heterogeneous. I mean, it can be any type. It doesn't need to be same. You can put actually any type of data together. Yeah, nice, right? So let's move to this node. STD pair is a struct template that provides a way to store two heterogeneous objects as a single unit. That's what I said here. We have single unit. Inside that, we have two data. Sometimes it happens that you know, there is some function and from that function, you want to return two data type, sorry, uh, two data. And now you feel that, okay, I have to create a structure or something to return it. No, you can return the pair. You have the solution already. And we'll see different, different use. But before that, map, multi-map, unordered map, unordered multi-map can use pair to insert data into their structures. So even these data structures uses pair to insert data in their own data structure. So pair is not just simple data structure. I mean, it's really very good because it gives you this facility. So let's go ahead. And this is uh, one way of using it. Like you can have std pair integer and integer. So I'm initializing first and second. So this is your first data type. This is your second data type. So this is the first value and this is second value. So now if you will send this to print, this is the function, we'll take this inside this object, then object dot first will actually print 10 and this will print 20. So this will be first dot first and this is going to be dot second. This is how you access the elements inside this pair. And yeah, again, it can be any type, not only in teacher. I have shown here that you have this pair of string and unsigned integer. You can even have pair of integer, you can have, sorry, a vector here and another vector here, map here, another map here or what not. So if you have two data, you can package them into one, okay? So this is one of the way and another way is this non-member function can be used to actually create the pair. So this will also create the pair for you. And I have shown this example, I have a list which is vector of pair of two data type, a string and unsigned integer. So string will hold the name and unsigned integer will hold age. So I have made four entries inside this and I'm printing it here. So let's, let's see this program, how it works. So let's compile this. Okay, compiled. And if you'll execute this, see, the output for this guy is 10 and 20 and same for this guy it is 10 and 20 because we are doing the same thing here and this is how this guy is working we have vector which takes data type as this guy so what we are doing yeah this is very important see we have the list and here i am using make pair function which is this one to create my pair and insert that or push back into this list because it is a vector and here if you see i'm using pair but explicitly i'm defining the type that what is going to be the type of my data what i'm going to insert into this list but actually it is not needed now we have automatic type deduction and this guy will also work and at last i'm just iterating over this list and we're just simply printing it so as i said if you have two data and you want to combine them you should use pair or there is another thing called tuple you can use that also okay so thanks for watching guys and don't forget to hit the like button guys and if you're new to this channel 
do subscribe and don't forget to press that bell icon this is how it looks like okay just press it so you will get the notification for upcoming videos like this i'll see you in the next videos guys take care bye bye